Moza Lite 2 3-axis gimbal, a brand new unopened GH5, a set of SLR Magic Anamorphot 2X MFT lenses, and a PD Movie Remote Air Pro with a broken iPhone 6 Plus. Here we go. So first, let's have a look at the lenses. They are long and heavy, which is pretty much the worst condition that we can have to mount them on a gimbal. Another thing we observe is that the focus ring breathes quite a lot, which might be a problem when we try to attach the follow focus. Now let's unpack the GH5 and mount the lens to it. Here we try to find where is the center of gravity of the camera with the lens, which will determine where to attach the camera plate. Next we put the camera on the gimbal and make sure there is enough space in the back so that the camera cannot hit the gimbal. Next step is to attach 15mm rod to the camera plate of the gimbal. In the meantime let's use a little support to make the work easier so that now we can attach the moto slash receiver of the PD Movie wireless follow focus. At this point we have to check again if the focus ring doesn't breathe too much and as you can see it's okay. Now that all the components are in place let's see what we need to do to find the balance of this setup. As you can see it's extremely front heavy so we need to add some counterweights in the back such as these. Sadly, you can't just screw them to the camera directly, so we'll try to attach them to these bars. In such a case, I would typically use a universal clamp like this one. Simply screw the counterweights to the clamp and attach it to the gimbal. Unfortunately, in this case it wouldn't work, because when trying to find the balance of the roll axis, the camera would hit the gimbal with the viewfinder. The other thing we observe is that the camera slides away from the focus gear because of the rubber pads on the camera plate. Luckily I found this threaded nata rail which I could use to put between the camera and the camera plate so that now it wouldn't slide left and right anymore. Plus it would place a quarter inch thread directly under the camera which now allowed me to add enough weight at the right place to balance the whole setup. Now we can plug in the power cable for the motor. Here I had to solder an adapter with a female DTAP plug which I borrowed from this broken battery. Rest in peace. Plug in the cable and attach it with a strip of velcro so it doesn't bounce around and disturb the balance. Power the motor. Then the controller which by the way works also without the iPhone. I have to say that I was really surprised by the sheer sophistication of this device. Build quality, features and handling are really really nice. To calibrate the lens you simply press and hold the button that says Auto. And voila! Now to be fair in order for this setup to actually be usable, we would have to hook up a wireless HDMI transmitter so that the follow focus operator could work from a distance. But we'll keep that for the next video.